dear students we all know information is vital in running any organization in this topic we will discuss the different attributes that is qualities and characteristics of information again information plays a major role in decision making here we also discuss relevance of information in decision making as in business undertakings decisions are taken at every step in fact whatever a manager does he does through making decision in contemporary business settings organizations are increasingly aware that potential of information in providing competitive advantage and sustaining their success managers in organizations use information and it is integral to their work darwin explains information as ideas the structures or pictures imputed to reality by people information is used throughout the organization to make judgments about the efficiency effectiveness and responsiveness of services and in making complex decisions about priorities and the use of resources explanation of related words data information and the knowledge which are related to management information system are first about data data are numbers words or images that have had to be organized or analyzed to answer a specific question for example the crude oil price is 40 dollars per barrel second information it produced through processing manipulating and organizing data to answer certain questions adding to the knowledge of the receiver example the price of crude oil has risen from 40 dollars to 50 dollars per barrel now knowledge it involves interpreting information received and adding relevance and context to clarify the insights of the information when crude oil prices go up by 10 dollar per barrel it is likely that petrol prices will rise by 2 rupees per liter definitely the critical success factor for successful management is the strategic use of information and positive correlation has been found between management success and effective information needs assessment gathering and use of this assessment relevant and timely information allows managers to make accurate decisions on the other hand irrelevant information makes decision making difficult adds to confusion and affects the performance of the company therefore it is crucial that managers should be aware that what information they require how to acquire it and how to maximize the use of it in order to survive and prosper the today's information intensive environment drucker in 1995 states that most managers still need to learn how to use data and take responsibility for information he highlights that few managers know how to ask what information do i need to do my job when i do need it in what form and from whom should i be getting it still fewer ask what new tasks should i abandon which tasks should i do differently practically no one asks what information do i owe to whom when in what form etc information is an increment in knowledge it contributes to the general framework of concepts and facts that we know information relies on the context and the recipient's general knowledge for its significance in a competitive marketplace up to date information can make the difference between keeping pace getting ahead or being left behind now attributes of information an attribute is a property or characteristic the attributes of information are first 
timeliness. Timeliness is the degree to which information is up to date. In objective fashion, information represents the current state of the real world. Timeliness can also be seen as task dependent, meaning that the information is timely enough to be used for a specific task. It is one of the most important quality dimensions for handling disasters, because providing new information instantly is a major success factor of preventing a disaster of mitigating its effect. Information must be timely and not stale. Stale means no longer new or fresh. Stale information should be always being replaced with new information for better results. The use of stale information wastes the valuable time and also prevents the appropriate response needed by the actual situation. To enable coordination and synchronization of multiple operations, information has to be up to date. Real time accurate information delivers competitive advantage. Second attribute is security. Security has been identified as another important information quality dimension. If information is not secure, it can be easily intercepted by any intelligent opponent. He might be a terrorist or a criminal and they use it in a very harmful manner. Two aspects of information security include protecting information from intentional and unintentional human acts and protecting information from disasters okay, like disaster recovery planning. Information must be accessible. Accessibility implies the degree to which information is available, easily obtainable or quickly retrievable when needed. But this availability of information to the users is generally within the constraints of policy and confidentiality, so that it can be secured. Third attribute is completeness. Completeness is the degree to which information is not missing. That is enough information to allow you to make decision. Completeness such as a manager having all the data needed to have an accurate picture and relevance. Incomplete information can be hazardous. If information is incomplete, it becomes difficult for the responders to accurately assess the situation and hence they are unable to respond effectively. Fourth attribute is accuracy. Accuracy is the degree of correctness and precision. It is a very important quality dimension for decision making purpose. Within information production processes inside the organizations, accuracy can be improved by implementing institutional procedures like having information double checked by two independent people or by installing technical means like calibrating sensors. Example, temperature sensors, accelerometers, etcetera. Fifth attribute is coherence. Coherent information is what gels or blends with itself consistently. Coherence implies that two or more values do not conflict with each other. Since most people are exposed to information through a number of media and from various sources, it must be consistent in order to be credible. Inconsistent information tends to confuse people and allows them to discount some or all of it. While providing information, it must be in such a format that it is uncomplicated and easily understood by the end user. Now, decision making. The word decides means to come to a conclusion or resolution as to what one is expected to do at some later time. Decision evolved from the word decide. A decision can be defined as a course of action purposely chosen from a set of alternatives to achieve organizational or managerial objectives or goals. Decisions are made at every level of management to ensure organizational or business goals are achieved. 
decision making is an integral part of modern management. Every manager takes hundreds and hundreds of decisions subconsciously or consciously making it as the key component in the role of manager. With the more relevant information available, discussions by the board on issues of affecting the choices and alternatives can be better controlled and the rational decision making is facilitated. Now, we discuss different steps of decision making process. Each step may be supported by different tools and techniques. These are identification of purpose of the decision, information gathering, identify alternatives, analyze the different choices, evaluation of alternatives, select the best alternative, execute the decision and evaluate the results. The first step in this process is identification of the purpose of the decision. This is very important one. In this step, the problem is thoroughly analyzed. The questions one should deal when it comes to identify the purpose of the decisions are what exactly is the problem, why the problem should be solved, who are the affected parties of the problem, does the problem have a deadline or specific timeline. Step 2 is information gathering. Information can be information you know and you have, information you know and you do not have, information you do not know and you have and information you do not know in the same time you do not have. Most decisions require collecting pertinent information. As the part of decision making process, gathering relevant information is most essential. The real trick in this step is to know what information is needed and the best sources of this information and how to go about getting it. This step involves collecting from both internal and external sources. Internal sources such as financial, personal, marketing, purchasing, sales, manufacturing and administration. The external source of information is concerned with what is happening beyond the boundaries of the organization. This covers any documentation related to subject area produced as a summary or a detailed report by an agency external to an organization. Such information may be obtainable from government agencies or private information providers like census figures, telephone directories, judgment or court cases, legislations, trade journals or and professional publications etcetera. Step 3 in this process is identifying alternatives. In this step, you will list all the possible and desirable alternatives. Obviously, through the process of collecting information, only several possible paths of action or alternatives can be identified. You may also use your imagination and information to construct new alternatives. When it comes to defining the criteria, organizational goals as well as the corporate culture should be taken into consideration. Step 4 is analyzing the different choices. This step compels to weigh evidence. The manager must evaluate whether the need identified in step 1 would be helped or solved through the use of each alternative. In going through this difficult internal process, you begin to favor certain alternatives which appear to have higher potential for reaching your goal. Eventually, you are able to place the alternatives in priority order based upon your own value system. Step 5 in this system is evaluation of alternatives. In this stage, each alternative would be evaluated by keeping decision making criteria in mind. Experience and effectiveness of the judgment principles come into salvage in this step. You need to compare each alternative for their positives and negatives. Step 6 is selecting the best alternative. 
after evaluation of strengths and weaknesses of available alternatives, one best alternative be selected which helps for decision making. Step 7 executing the decision. After appropriate decision made, converting this decision into a plan or sequence of activities is most important. Executing plan requires the help of subordinates to make it big success. Step 8 is evaluate the results. Evaluating the outcomes of decision is more essential for the pro prospects of company. Effective and successful decisions make profit to the company and unsuccessful ones make losses. Therefore, corporate decision making process is the most critical process in any organization. Usually, decision making is hard. Majority of corporate decisions involve some level of dissatisfaction or conflict with another party. To be successful, manager should get consensus from all the stakeholders of decision making. Here is an example. Amazon's continuing success can be attributed partly to a host of savvy mercantizing decisions, including those related to special prices and shipping discounts, suggestions for complimentary purchases and targeted email notices about new offerings. None of these decisions carries much value in any one instance. Cumulatively, however, they can mean the difference between success and failure. Here is one more example. Harley Davidson is known for its production of heavyweight motorcycles and complete line of motorcycle parts. When the company applied information integration to its dealer inventory management process, it gained a 360 degree view of its inventory. Using systems of company already had, Harley Davidson was able to gain detailed information about parts, sales history, external market data and a number of suitable bikes in a selling region. As a result, dealers can make better decisions about what inventory to stock. Overcoming certain factors work against decision making. 1. Not having in enough information. Lack of enough information hampers efficiency of decision taken. It is like making a decision without any basis. Take some time to collect the necessary information. If necessary, prioritize your information gathering by identifying which information will be most important to you. Second is having too much of information. The ob opposite problem, but one that is seen surprisingly often having so much conflicting information that is impossible to see the wood for the trees. This problem can often be resolved by getting everyone together to decide what information is really important and why and by setting a clear time scale for decision making, including an information gathering stage. Information plays a crucial role in reducing uncertainty. When it comes to making decisions, one should always weigh the positive and negative business consequences and should favor the positive outcomes. Making the decisions and accepting its consequences is the only way to stay in control of corporate life and time. Here information play a major role. Right information at the right time helps to take right decision. Thank you.